शून्यवादी पाश्चात देशतारिण हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे राम राम हरे हरे श्री कृष्ण चंद्र भगवान के कली पावन अवतार श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु के जगत गुरु शिल प्रभुपाद के हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र के हरे कृष्ण श्रीमद भागवत श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तनम श्रीमद भागवत श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तनम वी आर एक्सट्रीमली फॉर्चुनेट कृष्ण संकीर्तन की महिमा दैट वी आर लिस्निंग टू द ग्लोरी ऑफ the chanting of the holy names of the lord through the medium of words of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu taiyar ho kar today vyaspeet par aate samay while i was coming to the vyaspeet after getting ready i got a wonderful shri thakur bhakti vinod shri shri thakur kirtan ki process kya hai the vinod explains the process of holy chant chanting of the holy names of the lord ka prakriya is prapanch mein is bhautik jagat mein so in this material world sankirtan ke dwara to the medium of chanting of the holy names mukt hone ki kya we can get relieved of the obstacles so what is the process but what is the process Actual for process the same kya hai kis prakar se sansar ka jeev bhautik so in what manner a person can be relieved of the materialistic obstacles in this material world dhara ke in our gaudiya dhara ठाकुर भक्ति विनोद इज कंसीडर टू बी द भक्त भागीरथी ब्रह्म मध्व गौरीय धारा इन अवर डिसिप्लिक सक्सेशन के द्वारा प्रवाहित की गई व्हिच वाज भगवत भाव भगवत प्रेम भक्ति श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु ने फ्लोन थ्रू द मीडियम प्रदान की और व्हिच जाने के बाद गॉट अ न्यू लीज ऑफ लाइफ टू चैतन्य महाप्रभु द्वारा and by great acharyas it was bhagavad gita mein krishna kehte hain to many people and in many places but in bhagavad gita krishna says to arjuna param tap hai samay ke prabhav mein due to the time factor everything gets dissolved or ye gauriya elapsed lupt hone lage so this gaudiya shuddh vishuddh bhav disciplic succession dheere dheere which has the pure almost bhava it became negligible and was about to be erased at that time bhakti vinod thakur appeared so jo lupt hone ja rahi thi that nectar of love that was going to be yadi na hote to aaj hum aur aap shri chaitanya mahaprabhu ko nahi jante mahaprabhu ke dwara diye gaye bhav ras aur prem the bhav and ras that lord chaitanya mahaprabhu had given would have been lost long ago but just because of 
bhakti vinod thakur it got a new lease of life that is why he is considered to be the bhakt bhagirath as brahma lok ke dharti par bhagirath bought mother ganga to this material universe similarly thakur bhakti vinod got bought the nectar of the mellows of love and devotion of chaitanya mahaprabhu to all of us he was a ideal householder and for the welfare of devotees and mankind at large he has written so many scriptures he had interpreted so many of the vedic scriptures and in beautiful bangla language he has written many many bhajans krishna sankirtanam par kuch shravan kar rahe hain so we are right now listening to the glories of the chanting of the holy names so what does he has to say about the chanting of the holy names of the lord kabhi padhi bhi hogi suni bhi hogi i'm not sure whether you have heard it previously shiksha ashtakam ye jo hum param vijay se shri krishna the shiksha ashtakam katha sun rahe hain the katha that we are listening on that point kya thakur bhakti vinod thakur what is the process says ye krishna sankirtan we are discussing is what is the process jagat ke doshon se mukt hone ki process kya hai our souls relieved of the obstacles of this material universe what is the process and bhakti vinod thakur in his interpretation writes you can see in front of your apni buddhi ko thoda broad kar dijiyega so just try to understand each and every word with an open mind he writes in his interpretation jiva naam punah punah sansar klesh anubhavanantaram maya se mugdh jeev kon hai so a person he says maya mug that is the person entangled in this material universe so he is talking about people like me he who are engrossed or entangled in this material universe jo maya mein phasa hua hai maya ke teen gun are not devoted to lord madhava but is in ke teen gun se entangled in this material universe chaka chond mein jo phasa hua hai who is माया मुग्ध इन द ग्लिटर ऑफ द स्क्रीन नहीं मटेरियल नोचर दैट पर्सन इज रेफर टू एज माया मुग्ध व्हिच यू ऑल आर नॉट हमारे दिल्ली से पूर्व में ही फ्रॉम दिल्ली 350वीं कथा का सुंदर आयोजन किया आज द 350th कथा वाज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड दोनों एक साथ प्रभु जी एंड माता जी आर सिटिंग टुगेदर एंड लिसनिंग टू द कथा सो I welcome them. So Maya Mugdh Jiva Naam, जो जीव माया से मुक्त है. So a living entity who is engrossed in this material universe, and because of that conditioning of the glitter of this material universe. he faces the distress and sadness of this material universe he gets stuck in many problems in this material world why because he is engrossed in sense gratification and in this material universe so shri prabhupad says whatever is not there and we believe that it is there is that is maya bhautik vastu mein sukh nahi hai so although there is no happiness in this material universe but we feel that there is some material happiness so that is maya our actual relationship is with the lord himself and otherwise but we have no relationship with others 
बट वी स्टिल थिंक दैट वी आर रिलेटेड टू सो मेनी पीपल विच इज माया सो ऐसी माया में जो मुग्ध है सो दो totally entrapped in this punah material energy of the lord that is maya is bhautik jagat mein aate hain such people come again and again to this material universe prashna hota hai jabki wo mujhe milte hain prabhu mujhe dusra janm to nahi milega jab tak hum log maya mein phase hain till the point we are entangled in this material universe we will have to take birth again and again tab tak punah punah sansar klesh anubhav barambar sansar ka sansar ke klesho ka anubhav karna pade we will have to undergo all the distresses of living in this material universe maya mugdha jeeva naam punah punah have you understood so far anubhavat बारंबार संसार के क्लेशों का तो अगेन एंड अगेन वी विल हैव टू फेस द डिस्ट्रेसेस इन दिस मटेरियल यूनिवर्स का अनुभव करते 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 एंड आफ्टर फीलिंग दैट अगेन एंड अगेन एंड ही कम्स टू द प्लेटफार्म दैट आई हैव ट्राइड ईच एंड एवरीथिंग दैट आई कुड डू व्यक्ति में बट सुख नहीं है देयर इज नो हैप्पीनेस इन दिस मटेरियल यूनिवर्स ऑफ पीपल इन दिस वर्ल्ड and i'm not if going to get any pleasure from such things and people and at that point that living entity what does he do that time he starts to associate with devotees or tries to associate in good association so when should we try to associate with devotees when a person comes to this realization that no matter what we have tried to be happy in this material universe but the more we try the more we get distressed and when we fail miserably and the person comes to this final conclusion that there is no happiness in this material universe then he tries to associate with devotees yada sat sang the lord or सत्संग सत्संग है तो वो सत्संग करने के दो कारण होते हैं एंड व्हेन ही ये आप लोग जो मेरे सामने अभी ट्राइज टू गेट गुड एसोसिएशन नाउ दैट यू ऑल आर गैदर्ड हियर किरीट भाई तुम्हारो कैक स्क्रीन बरोबर नसी जालती मारी आंखों में डिस्टर्ब करे छे तो तुम्हें ये बदु बंद कर दे या थोड़ी देर के लिए उनके वीडियो को बंद कर दीजिए गोविंद टीवी So, तो यहां पर कहते हैं कि यदा शास्त्र तात्पर्य विश्वास हो विश्वास होता है it means he has faith in the word of the vedic scriptures that bhagavad gita or bhagavatam has not written anything wrong although we might not understand although we might not understand the vedic scriptures it's not necessary yet we should have faith in our scriptures vishwaso shastra ke tatparya mein vishwas hota hai तो कुछ लोग so, ऐसे हैं यहां शास्त्र मीन स्क्रिप्चर्स एंड विश्वासो मींस फेथ सो दोस हु हैव फेथ इन द भगवान की लीला में इंटरेस्ट है कि भाई स्क्रिप्चर्स की कथा एंड अदर्स हु हैव डोंट हैव दैट मच इंटरेस्ट इन द वैदिक स्क्रिप्चर्स बट हैव भगवान इंटरेस्ट इन लिसनिंग टू द पास्ट टेंस ऑफ द लॉर्ड दैट इज भगवान माधुर्य लोभो the second part of the first line so how is krishna's madhurya and how are the relationships with the lord in different different emotions or form and to understand that person tries to associate with devotees of the lord ya fir humko krishna katha sunne mein aanand aata hai that's it either 
they have faith in the Vedic scriptures and the others who are interested in listening to the past tense of the Lord and when so this is the entrance exam so in this spiritual world or to enter the congregational chanting so this is the entrance exam for the same if you aspire to get a degree or something so there are entrance exams so these are the two prerequisites or entrance to enter the spiritual world so first either you should have faith in the scriptures or faith in the Lord and greed to listen to their pastime. So these are the prerequisites. And even if you have one, you will be able to enter the realm of the spiritual world. And in the second line, it is said, if you have the greed to listen to the whole pastimes of the Lord or faith in the Vedic scriptures and if you have either of these two and if you have passed the entrance exam then once you have attained this stage, then you, you will enter the realm of spiritual world. So we have got, so you can get the admission. So this is a technical, I'm trying to simplify as much as I can. So once you have cleared the entrance, you will be admitted to Tesha Swarup Shakti, that is the external potency of the Lord. And what is her business? So the internal potency of the Lord, that is Haladini Shakti, gives us the right to enter the spiritual world. When a person gets to this stage, they think that we have reached Vaikuntha or eternal abode of the Lord. No, we have just got admitted to the realm of spiritual world. We are just writing the entrance exam. We are failing in that itself. If we pass that, then only we will get an opportunity to have or perform unalloyed devotional service towards the Lord. So after once we get this admission in the spiritual realm, our faith will appear. And we will get or take the shelter of a bona fide spiritual master. And after that, if we associate Tattva Shravanam Ghatate, Fir Wo Satsang Ke Dwara Hamko Tattva Gyan Hone Lagega. We will be able to understand the element of fundamental knowledge. So, sitting here and listening to the Bhagavatam is just clearing the entrance exam. Once we have cleared that, then we will get the entry to the spiritual realm. And after that, once we get the shelter of a bona fide spiritual master, then to the medium of the katha, you will get the knowledge. So, the katha is same, listening is same, but 
some who are under the shelter of a bona fide spiritual master are trying to understand the elements, but the others who are just sitting in the entrance exam as they are not yet under the shelter of a spiritual master. So we cannot compare these two. When we take the shelter of the lotus feet of a spiritual master, then the association will continue, but that will benefit us. How? When we listen to the pastimes of the Lord, we will be able to understand the elements of the same. And once we get this fundamental knowledge, what is the conclusion of that? It is written beautifully after listening to that, Shravana Antaran means after listening to that, and after that, when we perform congregational chanting or when we chant the holy names of the Lord, then the external potency of the Lord will be defeated, Maya Damana. So right now we are just sitting in the entrance exam. Once we take the shelter of the Lord and we listen to the pastimes of the Lord, by His order, we will chant the holy names of the Lord. Then, when we perform kirtan or holy names of the chant the holy names of the Lord, that time the process of diminishing the effects of the material energy of the Lord will start. So, initially, the living entities who are engrossed in this material universe since so many births, after that, he will be relieved of this material energy of the Lord and and living entity will realize his original or actual form that is he will become pure and unconditioned so in this material universe is a so the medium of congregational chanting of the holy names, we can get victorious of the material energy of the Lord. So this is the process. So through the medium of congregational chanting, we can get victorious in this material universe. So what type of Sankirtan is that? He says, there are eight glories of the same. And what are those? Yesterday we heard Cheto Darpan Marjanam. So this Krishna's congregational chanting cleanses the mirror and it relieves us of the material universe. And the third is and it benefits the living entities. And the fourth is Krishna Sankirtanam. It is the life and soul of the knowledge. It increases the bliss. And at every step, it gives us nectar 
सभी और से हमें स्नान करा देता है स्नान स्नान रूप से संकीर्तना अवदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदल किशो जय गोपी चित चोर प्रभो जय गोपी चित चोर प्रभो जय जय माखन चोर जय जय माखन चोर श्री कृष्ण चंद्र भगवान की जगत गुरु शिल प्रभुपाद की श्री हरिनाम संकीर्तन की उपस्थित भगवत कथा अनुरागी हरे कृष्णा आई वेलकम ऑल द लविंग डिवोटीज ऑफ श्रीमद् भागवतम परम सुशोभित करने वाले आई आल्सो एक्सटेंड माय हार्टफेल्ट ग्रैटिट्यूड एंड वॉर्म वेलकम टू सुधारा से समस्त वरिष्ठ भक्त गण ऑल द सीनियर डिवोटीज of our gordia discipline succession i also welcome you all through who have joined through the medium of facebook youtube etc all the listeners and sarvajan hitay in particular for the benefit of humanity at large पटेल i bhagu bhai patel remember their ancestors raman bhai bhagu bhai patel lakshmi ben patel and from chicago shri naresh prabhu who is a disciple of chandramouli maharaj shri braj vilasini mata ji and the whole family anil vinesh sumitra ben और बोस्टन से एंड फ्रॉम बोस्टन दुर्लभ भाई एंड रावजी भाई फैमिली तृप्ति माता संगीता बेन तृप्ति माता संगीता बेन शैलेश भाई बाल गोपाल एंड ऑल द किड्स ऑफ द फैमिली आई वेलकम यू ऑल दिवस में ऑन द सेकंड डे ऑफ the shrimad bhagavatam katha i welcome you all and please accept our humble obeisances at your lotus feet radhe shya bahut sundar parv chal rahe hain 
a beautiful auspicious days are going on yesterday the katha started on amlaka ekadashi and today also is a auspicious day shri madhvendra puri's disappearance day madhvendra puri madhvendra puri what should i say about him i am getting goosebumps by just speaking or uttering his name Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the desire tree of love. He is the desire tree of the honorable devotion of service towards the Lord. Shri Madhvendra. Madhvendra Puri is the seed of this desire tree. So, he is the seed of this Gaudiya Disciplic Succession. So, the desire tree of the Anala Devotion Service was the Lord. He is the seed of the tree. So, we are in the disciplic succession started by Lord Shri Krishna and we all have taken initiation or are getting knowledge. So, in this pure disciplic succession like Ganges, they all are performing analyzed devotional service towards the Lord. So, it is said that in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says it should, this devotional service should be performed in disciplic succession and we all are whatever we are due to the blessings of mercy of this disciplic succession. As it so happens, if a person, a son of a wealthy person, he inherit all the wealth. So what is our devotional service and what is our knowledge? But our discipline succession is very great. And as we are a small part of this discipline succession and therefore we are trying to sing the pastimes of the Lord and understand his divine speech. You might be aware that Srila Prabhupada is, is on the 32nd number in the discipline succession that starts from Lord Shri Krishna himself. So between these two, there are 30 people. So between Krishna and Srila Prabhupada, there are 30 people. And ultimately, it connects to Srila Prabhupada. If I show you on the screen, then this is in this number. So first is Lord Shri Krishna. After that, there is Brahma. Then his disciple is Narad. And Narad disciple is Vyas, then Madhva, then Padmanap, Narhari, then Madhav, Akshobhya, Jaitir, Gyan Sindhu, Dayanidhi, Vidyanidhi, then 14th is Rajendra, 15th is Jaidharm, 16th is Purushottam, 17th is Brahmaniya Tirth, 18th is Vyastith, 19th is Lakshmipati, 20th is Madhvendra Puri, 21st is Ishwar Puri, and 22nd is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then 23rd is Roop, and 24th is Raghunath and Jeev Krishna, thus then Narottam, then 37th is Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, and then 28th Jagannath Babaji, 
दिन भक्ति विनोद इज गौर किशोर बाबा एंड थर्टी फर्स्ट इज भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती एंड थर्टी सेकेंड इज एसी भक्ति विधान स्वामी शिला प्रभुपाद श्री There were people used to perform on a Lord devotional service towards the Lord, but raga anuga bhakti, the flowing of the tears and melting of the heart. So this raga anuga bhakti has started from Shri Madhvendra Puri. Do you understand it now? So this twentieth Shri Madhvendra Puri. So from here, Raga Anuga Bhakti starts. Prior to that, devotion service was there. It was Vaidhi Bhakti or attaining the Lord through the rules and regulation. But Madhvendra Puri is the seed of this group Anuga. दर्शन है is his disappearance day and chaitanya mahaprabhu has written beautifully about him once chaitanya mahaprabhu and nityanand prabhu were sitting together and he said that just contemplate o nityanand who is the most fortunate in this world before nityanand prabhu could say something chaitanya mahaprabhu replies madhvendra puri se zyada He says there is nobody more fortunate than Madhvendra Puri in this whole universe. What does Shaitanya Mahaprabhu says? Prabhu kahe Nityananda kara ha vichara Prabhu kahe. नित्यानंद कर विचार पूरी स पूरी माने माधवेंद्र पूरी पूरी सम भाग्यवान जगते नहीं आर दुग्ध दान चले कृष्ण जा रे देखा दिल दुग्ध दान चले कृष्ण जा रे देखा दिल तीन स्वप्ने यासी जा रे आज्ञा दील तीन वार स्वप्ने यासी जा रे आज्ञा दील आगे कहते हैं जा र प्रेम वशैया प्रकट होला सेवायंगी कार करी जगत तारीला 
जार लागी गोपीनाथ खीर चोरी के ला करपूर चंदन जार अंगे चढ़ाई जार लागी गोपीनाथ खीर चोराइया करपूर चंदन जार अंगे चढ़ाइया श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु कहते हैं कि नित्यानंद Nityanand Prabhu says, Oh Nityanand, just see, in this world, there is nobody more fortunate than Sri Madhvendra Puri, in whose dream, not only once or twice, but thrice, Lord Sri Krishna appeared, and he himself offered him milk, to drink. What shall I say? Madhvendra Puri ka janma. Madhvendra Puri's words happen in Bengal, Sri Hat district in the village called Purdipat on the home of Virendra Bhatt Brahman where he was born. And from his birth he was very intelligent and wise. और उन दिनों भारत की दुर्दशा and seeing the condition of our country, he used to cry day and night. Since childhood, he was detached and he left his home and went to the forest and it is said while roaming when he met Nityanand Prabhu from Lakshmi Pati Puri he took initiation and he reached Vrindavan after reaching Vrindavan he started to stay in the foothills of Giri Raj Govardhan. So many temples were being destroyed by the Muslim invaders. But the two things that cannot be touched, they could break the temple, but not the mountain that is Govardhan. They were destroying the deities, but Two things were untouched, that is Giriraj Govardhan and River Yamuna. And for your information, in our Gauri Abhadhe Pacific Succession, the first entry was of Sri Madhvendra Puri. And after that, Rup Sanatan, Chitanya Mahaprabhu, came. So first of all, he came and he started to stay in the foothills of Giri Govardhan and he had this principle or a vow that I will, even if I die, I will not seek anything from anyone. So Rahimji has written a beautiful verse. He says, a person who goes to ask somebody to for something, he should be considered dead. Who asks something for himself? And before that, a person who refuses the same is dead. So there are three types of requests. First is Kaik, second is Vachik, and the third is Mansik. Kaik means to take our body to a charitable person and seek arms, that is called 
archaic yachna and the vachik yachna is we are not going anywhere we are sitting at our place but from that place we ask something from someone is vachik yachna and mansik is not from the body or through the speech but to have a desire in our heart that if some person gives something that would be good but great is shri madhavendra puri who not who had no desire from his body speech or mind so how did he used to survive he used to roam and if someone used to give or offer something and he only used to drink milk so he was uh, he went after walking a lot to vrindavan the foothills of vrindavan of the govardhan and for 3 days he was hungry he could have anything when he was not able to get anything then the lord thought that he will not seek anything from anyone and if he dies what will happen in the future where will this zoom listeners will go where will this discipline succession will go even the lord gets worried about his devotee to wo chaitanya ma something happens to madhavendra puri then how he will give initiation to ishwar puri and sutane mahaprabhu and so on so forth bhakti ko dekhkar so seeing his krishna love and devotion Lord Shri Krishna Himself came with a pot of milk in the form of a cowherd. Madhavendra Puri could not recognize, so he came as a cowherd boy in front of Shri Madhavendra Puri and said, "Oh, when you are very new to this village," he said, "Yeah, I just reached here." So he said, "That have you eaten anything?" He said, "No, I haven't eaten anything." So he said that. If you haven't eaten, then you should have asked. Here in Brazil, my vrat is a nyam. I will die, but I will not ask anyone. It is my vow that even if I die, I will not ask anything. So he said that my mother has said you can, you should just drink this milk. Madhavendra Puri said, "How would you know that I, you, I am hungry?" I will tell you. He was very angry. He started sweating. What should I say? He cannot reveal that he is omnipotent. He said that my mother went to get water. She saw you, and she told me that you should go and give him some milk. So in this manner, Lord Shri Krishna came and gave him milk. He said that you can drink the milk. I will take the pot later on. After saying that, he just gave the milk and went. And when Madhavendra Puri drank that milk, that was not any ordinary milk that we get contaminated with water. This was nectarian, transcendental milk. After drinking that, Madhavendra Puri realized that this is not any ordinary milk. Definitely, the Lord was here. So Madhavendra Puri, till today, what shall I say? I just want to remember. I went deep. Madhavendra Puri was feeling this is that for me the Lord had to come just to give me milk. Had we been there, we would have taken the selfie and put it on the social media that the Lord came for me. But today's day, Madhavendra Puri left his body. But even at that time, he had this distress and anxiety that for me, the Lord had to come down. For a living entity like me, the Lord had to undergo so much trouble that he had to bring milk. This is the pure devotional service towards the Lord. In this, the devotee doesn't expect anything from the Lord. Even if they that, even if we get little cold, we pray to the Lord that please relieve us from this problem. For small small things, we put Krishna to work. 
but great is Prila Madhvendra Puri. He used, he cried throughout the night, and when he slept, the child that came, he appeared in his dream and said, Oh Madhvendra, I have been waiting for you for so many days, that when will you come? And when will he serve me? I myself Krishna. So in, in his dream he is telling, Krishna is guiding him to the foothills of Rinda Govardhan where it is Jatipura today and said that Vajranab had made one deity Vajranab, who is the great grandson of Lord Shri Krishna, so Vajranab is the great great grandson of Lord Shri Krishna. So Krishna ke prapotra Vajranab ji ne Shandilya Rishi ko Guru Bhattar he made Shandilya Rishi his spiritual master and he created Srinathji's deity. But because of the fear of these Muslim invaders, the deities were kept in hiding. And Lord Shri Krishna said that now I want to many reappear or manifest. So please pull me out and do Abhishekam for me, venerate me and serve me. So when they started to see, they Srinathji manifested and the whole, all the villagers beautifully venerated Lord Srinathji with all the five things and with hundred pots of water from all the Kundas and lakes and ponds, etc. He was bait, he was dressed beautifully. And I just want to add one more thing. In Kali Yuga, for your information, the first 56 offering of the Lord was done none by none other than Sri Madhvendra Puri. Till Dwapar, 56 types of dishes were offered, but in Kali Yuga, the first and foremost devotee who offered 56 types of dishes to Lord Srinathji was Madhvendra Puri. So he venerated the Lord and offered him with 56 types of dishes, that is Chappan Bhoga. So he started serving Srinathji on the foothills of Govardhan and that is why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says that this Madhvendra Puri's love, due to his love, the Lord manifested or appeared and took or accepted his services. And further, he adds, this is the same Madhvendra Puri for whom the Lord stole. 5,000 years prior, he used to steal in Dwapar, but in Kali Yuga also he stole. When Srinathji was being served in Govardhan, then he came in the dream of Madhvendra Puri and requested him that, Oh Madhvendra, the summers are here, so you do one thing. You go to Jagannath Puri and get the sandalwood from there and make a paste and put that on me so that I can get some. So Madhvendra Puri ko sopna aya aur dusre din swayam hi so, when he got this dream, although he was old, he started himself 
to serve the Lord's ship. He thought that I will serve them. Had we been in his place, we would have sent our disciples. We have so many disciples for what are they for? Go and get it for us. But great is Madhvendra Puri to serve the Lord's ship. He started to go himself. And that time, there were not much vehicles. So he crossed so many villages while walking. He passed so many days. And he reached Bhuvaneshwara. And there, when he was about to reach Jagannath Puri, he saw a beautiful Gopinath temple in the village called Remna. And it is still there. So he thought that this temple is here. So why not go and get some darshan? So he went there to get the darshan. He saw a very beautiful darshan. And the bhog aarti was being offered. And in bhog, there was a milk pudding. And it is said, 12 pots of milk pudding were being offered to the Lord. And when Madhvendra Puri saw that, and one time he got this desire in his life, and that desire too was only for the Lord. He thought that if I get an opportunity to eat this, then I can also prepare similar milk pudding for my Srinaji, for a devotee. Whenever we go, whatever good qualities we, we, we get those things for our Laddu Gopal. When we get a swath, a flute, a dress, etc. So that should be the nature of a devotee. Whenever we go, we should try to get some good things for our lordship or deities. So Madhvendra Puri thought, when he realized that, oh my God, what have I done? It is my vow. I should not seek anything from anyone and I desired or so he had this anxiety and distress. How could I get this desire that I asked for this milk pudding from the Lord? So I will not eat anything. Although he was being offered, but he didn't eat anything. Without eating anything, he slept. And when he slept, around 12 o'clock at night, the Pujari, who was sleeping after eating, the Lord woke him up at 12 midnight and he rubbed his eyes and said, that, Oh Lord, you're here? And he said, Yeah. He said, This time, at this hour, he said, Why? He said, In your temple, there is Madhvendra Puri is here, who is a stalwart devotee, pure devotee. So please offer the milk pudding to him. He said, I have eaten everything. So he said, he replied, yes. So the Lord said, I was aware that you all will not leave anything for others, but I have kept one. I've stolen one and kept it hidden. So he said that, till now you steal. He said that I have to steal. The exalted devotee is sleeping hungry behind the curtain there is a pot of this milk pudding just go immediately and give that milk pudding to Madhvendra Puri the Pujari went he saw the pot where he was directed and he offered that to Madhvendra Puri and Madhvendra Puri became overwhelmed that for me the Lord has stolen the pot he has taken so much pain and again Lord Madhvendra Puri was filled with emotions and crying. He ate that milk pudding but that pot that on which he ate he took that pot broke it and he started eating that pot as well. That for me, Lord has stolen. So the Lord has touched this pot. So I need to 
consume that as well. So in this manner, the Lord appeared twice in the dream of Madhurendra Puri. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says the Lord appeared thrice. So the first, when he wanted to appear or manifest, and second, when he wanted the sandalwood boost, and the third, when Madhvendra Puri thought, for me, the Lord has stolen this pill pudding, so tomorrow it will be become public and people will start praising me and respecting me and it is a very risky and obstacle in the path of unalloy devotional service towards the Lord. So he to avoid that respect he started in the night itself. But Kaviraj Goswami says that the respect there is a that the more you run away from that name and fame, it will come in front of you. And if you desire that, you will never get it. So the people who don't desire or seek fame and name, they get and the those who seek it, they never get it. So Madhvendra Puri thought, I should not get it. So he started for Jagannath Puri. But the king, they realized, and he sent a palanquin and welcomed Madhvendra Puri. He, the king bought, got the sandal wood and offered it to him and the Lord to now you need not to go to Srinathji because it will take so much time. There is no difference between me and Gopinath. So you should offer this sandalwood base to Gopinathji at Ramna and I will be satisfied. So the Lord is giving us a principle. We are so much engrossed in this material. We even differentiate between the deities of the Lord. You are devotee of Gopinath. I am the devotee of Parthasarthi. We even fight over the basis of deities. The Lord is giving us a principle that, Rad, that Gopinath Ji in Remini, if you offer him, then the Lord will get it in Srina or in Vrindavan. So that means that we should never differentiate between the deities of the Lord. But the devotees differentiate between the deities. We differentiate so much that we differentiate between the lordships as well. So Madhvendra Puri taught us, he went to Gopinath Ramuna and offered the sandalwood paste on the day of Akshatritya. And that was the first day. And from there, this Chandan Yatra started. So in this manner, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, so, from the hands of Madhvendra Puri, the Lord accepted the sandalwood and come for peace. In this manner, he is the seedling of the desire tree of honor and devotional service towards the Lord. And his disciple was Ishwar Puri, and Ishwar Puri's disciple was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So he used to serve Srinath Ji, and then he gave it to Vallabhacharya. And in Srinath Dwara, Srinath Ji resides and is being served. So today is the disappearance day of Madhvendra Puri, so we should see his crematorium Shri Madhvendra Puri ka is prakar se tiro bhav din hua in this way he disappeared from this world so now 
वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोसीड टू श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तन श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु हैज ब्यूटिफुली रिक्वेस्टेड और रिसाइटेड श्रेय कैर्य व चंद्रिका वितरणम विद्या वधु जीवनम आनंदम बुद्धि वर्धनम प्रतिपदम पूर्ण अमृत आस्वादनम सर्वात्म स्नपनम परम विजयते श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तनम तो हम लोग आज चेतो दर्पण मार्जनम listen about so, this cheto darpan marjanam so this is the entire verse so the first point is cheto darpan marjanam shri krishna sankirtanam so we are going trying to understand this point so please try and understand carefully shri chetane mahaprabhu says chet or chit ko darpan kaha so he refers to this heart as a mirror he compares our heart to the mirror darpan darpan samajhte na shisha mirror hamara chit mirror ke saman hai so our heart is like this mirror jo darpan mein mirror ke saman hai aur mirror mein kya dikhta hai pratibimb and what do we see in the mirror reflection we see the reflection so us in the mirror so in this mirror bhagwan ki krishna dikhne chahiye krishna ka dham we should see the lord or the eternal abode of the lord but mirror ke upar dhool lagi hai in this mirror laga hai as is this mirror is covered with dust therefore we cannot see the lord nor his eternal abode so ye dhool kya hai ye mal kya hai so what is this vasna dusht dust that is the sanskar vishay bhog bhogat mein bad ye dhool hai ye mal desires and the desire for sense gratification therefore marjanam is means marjan karna we should remove this dust from our heart chit jo hai chit mane mun hi samajhi hamara man jo hai our heart ke saman hai is like a mirror aur us mirror par us shishe par and this mirror is covered with the lust of sense gratification ab sadha it has become contaminated so if we see an ordinary mirror the cleaner the mirror the reflection will be clearer ठीक उसी प्रकार हमारा similarly जितना ज्यादा साफ होगा if our heart is pure और भगवान का धाम उतना स्पष्ट दिखाई देगा then we will be able to see सुनते हैं भगवान के बारे में the lord सुन लेते हैं लेकिन वो so we listen वो, वो about the lord and his past time so we see but we are not able to see or realize why because our heart is covered with the dust and therefore the lord is not reflected in our heart to hamara chit yadi saaf hoga to bhagwan dikhenge so if our heart is clear or pure then we will be able to realize a lot the more roop leela our heart is purified the more clearly we will be able to see the lord and his past time right now on the mirror bahut bada bada kya hai itna our heart it's not just dust parvat hi jam chuka hai it is a mountain of dust yadi saaf karna hai so if we want to purify or cleanse this mirror of our heart jo mail laga hai use saaf karne ka sabse bada tarika hai श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तनम द बेस्ट सॉल्यूशन फॉर द सेम इज श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तनम दैट इज द कॉन्ग्रीगेशनल चैंटिंग ऑफ द होली नेम्स ऑफ लॉर्ड श्री कृष्ण बाय डूइंग दैट आवर हार्ट बिकम्स क्लेंस ऑफ दिस डस्ट ऑफ सेंस ग्रेटिफिकेशन बिल्कुल 
and after that we are able to clearly see the past times and names of the lord etc so listen carefully indirectly lord chitane mahaprabhu is saying that through other instruments like seeking knowledge yog or fire sacrifice etc all these instruments our heart will not be purified to that extent it will not be cleansed to that extent as compared to the cleansing done to the medium of congregational chanting of the holy names of the lord so if you say what is the proof then Vedvyas Muni writes in Padma Puran, you can see in the verse below, he requests Vishno Rami Tate Jasa Duritani Viliyante Durita Niviliyante Taman Siva Dino Daye Shiveda Vyasmani Ketehe Kis point per Kesri Krishna Sankirtan se Chitko Jitna Marjan Karsakte, Jitna Achese Marjan Karsakte. उतना और कोई साधन उसे नहीं कर सकते उसका प्रमाण नीचे दिया जा रहा है कि कीर्तनात एव कृष्णस्य देखो एक एक पॉइंट ऊपर से कनेक्ट कीजिए कीर्तनात एव कृष्ण कृष्ण कनेक्ट कीर्तन अब मैं वहां यहां ज्यादा कुंडा कृष्णस कॉन्ग्रिगेशनल चैंटिंग कैन प्यूरिफाई कृष्ण का ही कीर्तन अब कृष्ण अंडरस्टैंड बाय दिस वर्ड and nobody except Sri Krishna and it is being solidified by the verse below from Padma Puran and Vedvyas ji says that Krishna's congregational chanting has the potency that cannot be destroyed वो एग्जांपल देते हैं विष्णु रमति तेजस तेजस मींस पोटेंसी और स्प्रेंथ और दिन उदय दिन उदय माने सूर्य का जब उदय होता है दिन उदय मींस दैट व्हेन द सन राइजेस एंड द होल डार्कनेस इज रिमूव्ड नाउ टेल मी थोड़ा भी अंधकार बचता है after the sun rises is there any darkness left even if the sun desires that there should be some darkness but is it possible so as the sun arises the darkness is removed similarly when we do the congregational chanting of the holy names of lord Sri krishna all our impurities in our consciousness or heart get destroyed or removed so if the example or analog is given of sun rise that when the sun rises the darkness is removed similarly all the impurities are destroyed by congregational chanting of holy names of Lord Shri Krishna. So to remove the darkness, you don't even need the sun, only just a, some light or little sun rays can also destroy the darkness. Even he doesn't need to come. Similarly, even if someone desires or take a vow to perform Congregational chanting, his heart gets purified, his consciousness becomes pure. Sri Vedvyas ji adds further and he says with complete conviction, he says, except congregational chanting of Lord Sri Krishna, I don't find any other way. 
जंतु ना मतलब जीवों के लिए तो जंतु ना मींस फॉर द लिविंग एंटिटीज एक्सेप्ट चैंटिंग द कॉन्ग्रिगेशनल नेम्स चैंटिंग ऑफ द होली नेम्स देयर इज नो अदर सॉल्यूशन दिस इज व्हाट वेदव्यास मुनि सेस इन पद्म पुराण सभी पाप को प्रकृष्ट रूप से पूर्ण रूप से खत्म करने वाला so the destroyer of all the impurities and sins is the congregational chanting of holy names of the lord and there is no better solution than that to bhakto cheto darpan marjanam chitta rupi darpan ko yadi marjan karna hai If you Shri... want to cleanse your consciousness and heart, then there is only one solution or instrument that is Shri Krishna Sankirtanam or congregational chanting of the holy names of the supreme personality of Godhead. So there are so many ways. Like karma and even in bhakti yoga there are so many limbs of bhakti as well but the first and foremost fruit of all these processes of devotional service is to cleanse our heart or consciousness before we get our heart cleansed we cannot get any fruit so, or benefit so if you want to do any kind of process of bhakti you need to purify your heart so except the congregation chanting all other limbs of bhakti or pure devotional service is like a fire it will destroy the desire but it will also burn our feelings as it will destroy our heart as well for example if you have a mirror in your home it is covered with dust you tried hard but you're not able to clean it so a person will get acid that no matter what i will clean so he puts this acid instead of cleaning the mirror the mirror melts and so all these proce- other processes they will they are like fire they burn the desire along with the consciousness or heart as well so it kills the consciousness so as you might have seen the people who perform austerity they are devoid of feelings they are unable to love so gyan or so the knowledge or other limbs are like fire they destroy the desire but along with that it destroy the feeling but this sankirtan or congregational chanting it not totally purifies it as it is not like fire but it is like the holy water of mother ganges and it cleanses our consciousness and makes it pure therefore it is said param vijete shri krishna sankirtan ha tame aane apne gujarati ma kahiye paathiye paathiye tel nakhiye this is what we call oiling the, every part of every machinery in each in deep detail abhi ruki abhi to keval praram hua hai so we have just started so let me add one more point here jitne bhi log krishna sankirtan karte na all the people who perform congregational chanting so we have understood the process that the name of the name of the lord is such that it purifies our heart and consciousness there is no difference between krishna and his name so if we keep everything aside 
Let me share a mellowful thought which I heard from a mellowful devotee of the Lord. So, people who perform congregational chanting, the important reason behind that is that when a devotee performs congregational chanting, then pure devotee stages and saints is very much loved and liked by great devotees. And when somebody performs congregational chanting, so there is a process of cleansing, but if we keep that fruit also aside, but all other pure exalted devotees get satisfied and happy ecstatic and they shower their endless mercy costless mercy on us directly or indirectly and by that mercy our heart gets faith or the faith appears and by which we to get a desire to get or seek shelter of the lotus feet of a spiritual master. And when we seek, take the shelter of a spiritual master and we perform devotional service or sankirtan, then our heart gets purified. So this works inwardly and outwardly as well. It gives us pure, causeless mercy of exalted devotees of the Lord and it so can change the course of our life. It has the potency to change our fortune, but a pure devotee's blessings can change our fortune or misfortune. So this is the great glory of Sankirtanam or congregational chanting. So Srila Bhakti Vidod Thakur or Rupa Goswami has given their interpretation about that. So we will speak or get deeper further into it after some information about the upcoming program. And later we will continue the topic. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, so very grateful to Prabhuji. Bhaat Sundar, Aaj is Mahamantra, Shri Chaitanya Mahapur ke dwara pradhan kiya wa Sikshashtakam hai. Aur Sikshashtakam ki is pratham line par kitni sundar message ya kitni sundar seek hai joh hume aaj yaha par jannne ko mili hai. Aur bhi bhaat kuch hai joh ki hum jannnege par bhaat sundar इस नाम की महिमा है जो कि हम सब प्राय जब कर रहे हैं तो जब तो हम कर ही रहे हैं परंतु जब हम इस प्रकार से इनकी महिमा श्रवण करेंगे तो हमारी श्रद्धा है ना उसके ऊपर और अधिक बैठेगी तो जैसे प्रभु जी ने शुरुआत में ही कहा था कि कैसे हमें शास्त्र में विश्वास तथा भगवान में विश्वास होने की आवश्यकता बहुत है जो शिल भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर के द्वारा बताई गई शिक्षा के ऊपर प्रभु जी ने बहुत सुंदर बताया था it is very important, very necessary to have faith in Krishna's name and also Vaishnava mein vishwas hona avashak hai tata Bhagawan mein vishwas hona aur saadhi saad Bhagawan ke naam mein vishwas hona. To idhi hamara vishwas hota hai naam mein to avashya rakshi ve Krishna iti vishwas hathari yasa kahte hai na ki Bhagawan avashya raksha karte hai yeh hume vishwas rana chahiye. और इसी चीज की पुष्टि इसी वाक्य की यहाँ पर इसी शब्द की श्लोक की पुष्टि करने के लिए प्रभु जी ने अनेक अनेक श्लोक बताए कि कैसे ये जो श्री कृष्ण जो कीर्तन है जो कि हमारे चित्त रूपी दर्पण का मार्जन करने वाला है और कैसा मार्जन तो जैसे प्रभु जी ने बताया कि कैसे मतलब यू नो हार्ड कॉर मतलब हमारा जो हार्ट है हमारा जो चित्त है 
दैट इज हार्ड कॉर यू नो डेल्यू डेडमक बहुत ही स्कोलर इतना अधिक वह मतलब जमा हुआ है उसके ऊपर परत जमी हुई है यू नो काम की अनेक प्रकार की वासनाओं की और उसी को केवल भगवान के नाम रूप से ही हम भगवान के नाम के कीर्तन से ही यू नो उसे हम साफ कर सकते हैं प्राय बहुत सारे भक्तों का अनुभव होता है जब वे जप करना प्रारंभ करते हैं तो वे बताते हैं अपना रियलाइजेशन कि कैसे हरि नाम जप करने से यू नो हमारे अंदर किसी इस प्रकार के यू नो चेंजेस आया है कुछ ऐसी चीजें जो प्रयास कर रहे हैं सालों से उसे छोड़ने की उससे छुटकारा पाने की तो सिंपली यू नो बाय अडोप्टिंग द मैथड ऑफ चैंटिंग हरे कृष्ण दैट यू नो वो वैनिश हो जाती है अपने जीवन से कहीं वो भूल ही जाते कि कैसे कहीं पता ही नहीं चलती है सो दिस इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ यू नो हालांकि ये तो गौण चीजें हैं कि ये जो सारी बुरी आदत है वो छूट जाती है परंतु इससे भी ऊपर है बहुत कुछ जैसे भगवान के प्रति प्रेम कराने वाला है ये भगवान का नाम आगे आएगा अभी तो हम यहाँ पर है जैसे चेतो दर्पण मार्जन पे है हम कि कैसे भगवान का नाम जो है हमारा चित्त का मार्जन करता है तो बहुत सुंदर यहाँ पर भगवान व्यास देव जी की उस पद्म पुराण के श्लोक में प्रभु जी ने बताया कि केवल इनो कीर्तना देव कृष्ण भगवान श्री कृष्ण का कीर्तन ही और भागवत में भी बहुत सुंदर श्लोक है कीर्तना देव एव कृष्ण मुक्त संग परम ब्रजे परम ब्रज की ओर हमें लेके जाता है भगवान का ये जो कीर्तन है और बहुत सुंदर प्रभु जी ने इस व्याख्या में इस श्लोक में बहुत सुंदर उनका अनुवाद या उनका जो भाव है हम सबके बीच में प्रस्तुत किया सो वेरी ग्रेटफुल प्रभु जी थैंक यू सो मच और साथ ही साथ आज बहुत ही सुंदर दिन है जो हम सब ने आज यहाँ पर जाना कि आज शुलो माधवेंद्र पुरी का तिरुभाव दिन है और उनके कितने सुंदर पास्टाइम्स है जिन्होंने भगवान स्वयं उनके लिए चोरी किए खीर चोर गोपीनाथ जिन्होंने हमारे भगवान की जो भगवान के भक्त की इच्छा पूर्ति है तो भगवान ने चोरी की और उसने उस खीर को चुराया फिर वहां पर माधवेंद्र को उसको प्रदान किया और बहुत ही सुंदर एक भक्त है जिनका एक सुंदर गुण है वो प्रभु जी ने बताया कि यू नो मान एर प्रतिष्ठा शुरू करे प्रतिष्ठा शुरू भक्त विनोद ठाकुर कहते हैं कि जो मान प्रतिष्ठा की जो कामना करता है दैट इज लाइक यू नो स्टूल यू नो ये और सदैव भक्त को इस चीजों से बचना चाहिए जिससे कि वे भक्ति में स्टडी रह सके और अच्छे से प्रोग्रेस कर सके और बहुत सुंदर चंदन की भी महिमा यहाँ पर चंदन यात्रा की भी महिमा आज प्रभु जी ने बताई यहाँ पर कथा में चंदन यात्रा का जो फेस्टिवल हुआ था उस विषय में भी संक्षिप्त में प्रभु जी ने कहा सो थैंक यू और बहुत सुंदर भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर के द्वारा प्रारंभ में नाम महिमा के विषय में बताया गया कि कैसे भगवान के नाम में हमारा विश्वास होना चाहिए कैसे हमारी यू नो शास्त्र में विश्वास होना चाहिए वो बहुत ही आवश्यक है अन्यथा हम भक्ति में प्रोग्रेस नहीं कर सकते हैं सो so, बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद प्रभु जी हम यहाँ पर बहुत ही सुंदर इस शिक्षाष्टिकम की कथा के माध्यम से बहुत सुंदर सुंदर मैसेजेस ग्रहण कर रहे हैं और यही कारण है कि यू नो यही कारण है कि जो दिल को सुकून मिलता है मुस्कराने से और अमृत चर्चा में रौनक आ जाती है आपके आने से कि वे सब यू नो हम सब आप भी की यू नो इंतजार में बैठे रहते ये जो हमारा भक्त समाज है वे इसी शिक्षा को सुनने के लिए इसी उपदेश को श्रवण करने के लिए यहाँ पर आते हैं सो आइए हम निवेदन करें पुनः इस ग्रेस लाल गोविंद जी से कि वह इस शेष कथा को श्रवण कराए हरे कृष्ण चेतो दर्पण मार जनम बव महा दावाग्निवापण श्रेय कैर्यवचंद्रिका वितरण विद्यावधो जीवन आनंदाबुदिवर्धन प्रतिपद पूर्णमृता स्वादनम 
सर्वात्मास्नपनम परम विजयते श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तनम श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तनम चेतो दर्पण मार्जनम श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तनम श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु कहते हैं ठाकुर भक्ति विनोद कहते हैं कि चेतो दर्पण realization so, of our eternal form and what is our eternal form so, if i ask you what is your form you will say i will i am lokeshwari prabhu lalita sundari das title de diya lekin hum log hamara swarup kahenge main purush hu main stri hu will say that i am a male or a female i am a husband or spouse of so someone or sundar kehte hain so here it is beautifully said what is the form of the lord of the living entity so to understand this cheto darpan we need to understand the interpretation of shila bhakti vinod thakur so what is our eternal form in the second line it is said anu chaitanya jeeva ye 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 siddhant kisne diya jante hain So who gave this Baldev principle? Do you know? This was given by Baldev Vidya Bhushan. Thakur Vikti Vinod is so quoting Baldev Vidya Bhushan. In Govind Bhashe, he said, "Vibhu Chetan Ishvara, Anu Chetan Jeeva." He says, "What is the difference between the Lord and the living entity?" ऑल्सो similar to him but in small quantity samudra mein jo gun hai so all the qualities of a ocean are there in the drop lit of an ocean water if you test both then you will get the result that would be similar to hum bhi chaitanya hai bhagwan bhi chaitanya so we both are transcendental or spiritual but it is said that the only difference is that the lord is endless and we are small so they both are spiritual or transcendental so what is added further that we are they are the product of the same factory so we all are part and parcel of the lord or the supreme soul so if there there is a big chunk of so jo gun bhagwan mein hai wo gun then if you just take one isliye aage kya hai 
small part of it, then that also is sweet. Similarly, all the qualities of the Lord, similarly, the living entity also has the same qualities. As the Lord is knowledgeable, even the living entity is that much knowledgeable. As the Lord is pure, similarly, the living entity is also pure. As the Lord is blissful, similarly, the living entity is blissful. Why? Because we all are part and parcel of the Lord. So, we are the spirit soul, while the Lord is super soul. So, the only difference is in the size. Oh, example bhi de diya. And he gives an example. For example, Ravi, mane surya. Ravi means Aur sun mane surya ka prakash. and Prakash means the Jitne sunlight. Surya aur surya ka prakash. So as the sun Jitne and his prakash, sun rays, similarly, Surya is the Lord and the rays are the living entities. So what all are the qualities of the sun? So whatever light effulgence we get, we get from the sun. So the rays are getting its potency from the sun. But what are the qualities that are there in the rays? So they both have potency to burn. Or the sun will have more than the sunlight. The the rays are small particles. Therefore, so what? How does he conclude? He says. He says that no matter the living entity is a part or parcel of the Lord, so we all are part of this Sachit Anand. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Three times say it. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. ये गोविंद इस पोर्टलेट इसलिए कर रहे हैं कि वो देखना चाहते हैं कौन-कौन बोल रहे हैं महामंत्र को क्योंकि जितना अधिक समय आप लगाएंगे या फिर जितना होल्ड करेंगे, I guess Krishna will you know keep us waiting कि प्रभु जी लेट आए, so please chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. So, this is the Maa Mantra, which is the margin of the Darpan. So, come all of you, please. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram. बताइए सिस्टम में श्लोक का लोड बढ़ गया <laughs> तो आपके दिमाग में कितना बढ़ रहा होगा <laughs> सिस्टम भी कंफ्यूज हो रही है इतने सारे श्लोक खैर सो <clears throat> so, क्योंकि ये जीव परमात्मा का चिन्मयी अंश है इस ऑल आर part and parcel of the Lord. So all the qualities of the Lord are present in the living entity.
तो अंतर इतना है कि जीव अणु है तो द डिफरेंस इज द लिविंग एंटिटी स्मॉल देयरफॉर शुद्ध ऑल्दो इट इज ट्रांसेंडेंटल देयरफॉर चित्त शुद्ध देह प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस और हार्ट ये मेन पॉइंट है क्योंकि ये जीव भगवान का अंश है इसलिए so as we are part and parcel of the lord this living entity is pure even its ego is pure even its consciousness is pure shuddh chit aur shuddh deh aur jiska it has a pure soul prakar se hame samajhna chahiye and this is what we should try to understand ये देह शुद्ध है लेकिन फिर इसमें चाय कॉफी शराब डालकर हम लोग बिगाड़ते so, देने वाले ने तो बहुत so, शुद्ध दिया है द लॉर्ड हैज गिवन अस प्योर बट वी भगवान ने मैन्युफैक्चर तो बहुत प्योर ही हुआ है ये बिगाड़ा डिस्ट्रॉय इट बाय पुटिंग तो इतना समझ में आ गया ऑल द थिंग्स दैट आर नॉट का अहंकार सूटेबल फॉर दिस बॉडी भी शुद्ध है और देह भी शुद्ध है आगे कहते हैं फर्दर जीव शुद्ध है ओके श्री लपक्ति विनोद ठाकुर एड स्वरूपगत ही सेस ओरिजिनल स्वरूप दैट द लिविंग एंटिटी इज प्योर एंड इट्स इटरनल फॉर्म इज प्योर बट वेयर डस द प्रॉब्लम अराइज विमुख हात ये पर इष्ट वे विमुख हात बिकॉज़ वी आर अपोज्ड ईश्वर से विमुख टू द लॉर्ड और एज वी भाव विशिष्टवाद हमने बाहर फॉरगॉटन अवर रिलेशनशिप विद द लॉर्ड सो वी हैव एक्सेप्टेड द आउटवर्ड वर्ल्ड और मटेरियल वर्ल्ड और जिससे हमारा जो शुद्ध अहंकार बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट आवर प्योर ईगो दैट वी आर पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ द लॉर्ड एंड वी आर द सर्विटर ऑफ द लॉर्ड इट गॉट रिमूव्ड भगवान से विमुख होने के कारण बहिर एंड एज वी बिकेम माने माया के भाव हमारे ऊपर आविष्ट हो गए lost in this material universe and forgotten our relationship with the supreme personality of godhead therefore our ego got contaminated our consciousness became contaminated and because of our ignorance our consciousness also got contaminated further he adds yat shuddh chittam तस्मिन माया आवरण रूपा अविद्या मल दूषित ओरिजिनली जीव शुद्ध है ओरिजिनली द लिविंग एंटिटी इज प्योर बट वी हैव स्टार्टेड दिस प्रॉब्लम विमुख हो गए बिकॉज़ वी ईश्वर से विमुख होने के कारण माया का प्रभाव फॉरगॉट अवर रिलेशनशिप विद द लॉर्ड एंड वी गॉट कंटैमिनेटेड बाय दिस मटेरियल यूनिवर्स एंड थ्रू द बर्थ ऑफ बर्थ कंडीशनिंग ऑफ अवर सो अविद्या रूपी आवरण चढ़ गया अवर को महाप्रभु यहां क्या कॉन्शियसनेस वाज कवर्ड विद द डस्ट ऑफ दिस मटेरियल यूनिवर्स दैट इज व्हाट श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु इज रेफरिंग टू एज द डस्ट ऑन द हार्ट और कॉन्शियसनेस चित दर्पण से और उस मेल जमने के कारण बहुत एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट अक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ दैट डस्ट ऑन आवर कॉन्शियसनेस और हार्ट दर्पण में जैसे प्रतिबिंब देखने की तो एज क्षमता होती है देयर इज अ मिरर में प्रतिबिंब देखने की कार्य क्षमता होती है पॉसिबिलिटी और उसी प्रकार हमारे दैट वी कैन सी अ रिफ्लेक्शन इन द मिरर सिमिलरली वी हैव दिस कैपेबिलिटी टू सी द लॉर्ड लेकिन उस पर आवरण लगने के कारण बट एज इट्स कवर्ड विद दिस डस्ट कार्य क्षमता सुतराम घटते वो द कैपेबिलिटी इज लॉस्ट और रिड्यूस्ड चित में दर्शन करने की कार्य क्षमता घट गई तत् कारण सो द कैपेबिलिटी गॉट रिड्यूस्ड एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट आत्म दर्शनम न संभवन्ति और इसलिए हम हमारे चित में in our consciousness or heart we cannot see our eternal form nor the eternal form of the lord nor the eternal abode of the lord so ab kya hoga so so what happens next so, thakur bhakti vinod thakur says or as 
what is the process now that we are contaminated so how are we going to remedy the situation and that can be done by shravana anantaram shri krishna sankirtan pradur so first we need to listen to the past names of the lord or holy names of the lord after that the congregational chanting will arise after listening to the pastimes of the Lord, the, then the Sankirtan or congregational chanting that is performed, all the ignorance gets destroyed. And after listening to the pastimes of the Lord and doing congregational chanting, all when the dust is removed, then one more, once again, our original consciousness or pure heart is revealed. And our heart will become purified. And our ego also get, will get purified. So right now, what we have is false ego. But what is a pure ego? That I am the part and parcel of the Lord and I am the eternal servitor of the Lord. So that is the pure ego. So here, very beautiful point is said, when the heart is purified, we see or we are able to see the Lord. And we can see the five elements of material universe. So we can see all these five elements clearly in our heart or consciousness. And through the medium of this mirror, we see what is there in its original form and understand the Lord clearly. Swadharma darshanam api. Jab chit shuddha ho jata hai. So when the consciousness becomes pure, then we understand our eternal form and the form of the Lord. And along with that, Swadharma darshanam api ghatate. So we will be able to understand our dharma or principles of religiosity or our responsibilities. Right now we are unable to understand our responsibilities clearly. But when our heart will get purified by congregational chanting, that time we will be able to understand our responsibility more clearly. So what is Swadharma? Thakur Bhaktivinoda Thakur explains in the next line. He says, in the first line, it is said, what is our this prime responsibility? That is to be the servitor of the Lord. That is our prime responsibility. And once we perform this responsibility and after doing that, the, so the attachment towards the material universe will transform into the work towards the Lord. So instead of getting attached to the work in this material universe, we will get attached to the work towards serving the Lord. So it, our work will be transformed once our heart is purified. Therefore, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Cheto Darpan Marjanam. So the heart or consciousness can be purified by congregational chanting. 
And one acharya or a scholar has said beautifully, let's try to understand from this perspective. I know that you will be overwhelmed a little because, and you will have to listen it again and again. <laughs> at least even if you understand completely, but at least you understand that there is something important here. In these two verses, so much more to understand. So the other scholar has said that this chit heart or consciousness is like a mirror and the reflection that you see is should be the pastimes or his eternal abode. And this dust is what? That is of a forgotten relationship with the Lord. And to purify that marginum, marjani means to sweep. So what is this congregation chanting? So this is the instrument to sweep or dust this heart or consciousness. And in this mirror, we want the reflection of the Lord and his pastimes. And the Lord comes in our heart and consciousness. And it is very, it is fundamental. And because our heart is like a mirror and the Lord will appear there. Why? Because Lord is very near to our heart. So whatever is near to the mirror, we will be able to see it first. So in our consciousness, we will be able to see the Lord. And the first and foremost reason is that the Lord is very near to this, our heart. And second, he is Vibhu. He is omnipresent. And therefore, if there is a reflection only, first the Lord will be reflected. So there might be a question here. So if you say that the heart is like the mirror, and you say that as Lord is near, therefore, the, we will be able to see the Lord. But I see there are so many things near surrounding us. So, <laughs> Lokeshwari Prabhu might say that to me, next to me sitting is my wife, so she is in my heart. So first, I will say, Mike, so there could be a question. If this heart is like a mirror, then there are so many other things that are surrounded. So we will be able to see them as well. But listen, in this heart, only and only the Lord can be seen. Why? Because our heart or consciousness is transcendental. And in the transcendental thing, only transcendental thing can get reflected. So you might say, so there are so many other things surrounding. So they will not get reflected to on our heart. In our heart only, the Lord, his pastimes and his names will reflect. Any material thing won't be able to not reflect. But material thing will be there as present as dust. It will not reflect. Only Lord will get reflected. So from so many ages, we just don't have a little dust. <laughs> we have coatings and coatings of dust since so many birds we have been conditioned and there is the question of getting the pastimes or eternal abode of the Lord being reflected here. 
because it is so much contaminated. Therefore, we are not qualified. Otherwise, such a beautiful Bhagavatam and such a beautiful interpretation, till we don't understand, we should directly get understand. We are unable to understand because our heart is covered with this contamination of dust, of sense gratification, etc. So as we say that we are putting water on the stone, so to remove this dust, the only and only solution is Shri Krishna Sankirtanam. That is the congregational chanting of the holy names of the Lord. So you might ask how much we have to do that. So you might understand. To purify our heart, we need to do the sankirtan. And once the heart is purified, we, we need to do it on a daily basis. If we just clean the home once, will it be sufficient? First, we need to do it properly. And then on a daily basis, we need to clean it. Therefore, we need to do the congregational chanting on a daily basis. When I was reading the interpretation of a scholar or acharya, so let me share my thought. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said, Cheto as the consciousness, as the mirror, and Marjani is a super. So we have this experience that in our home, when we clean the house, the sweep the house with the sweeper, or we dust with the cloth, but if we, if there is so much dust, then we have to put some liquid to get it cleansed. So our heart also is covered with so much dust. So Krishna Sankirtanam is just the sweeper or a cloth. But we, it won't be sufficient for us. So we will have to add water or liquid to cleanse it more. Only then it will be cleansed. So what is that water? So now we have got the sweeper. So Sri Krishna Sankirtanam is that instrument. But what is that water? So I will have to take you to Tulsi Das Goswami. Let's go and take an analogy from Sri Ram Charitmanas or Ramayan. Prema Bhagati Jalabinu Ragurai Abhiyantara Mala Kabahuna Jai प्रे गाय गाय प्रेमा भगती जल बिनु रघुराई अभियंतर माल कब हूँ नहीं जाए दक्ष सकल लक्षण जूत सोई दक्ष सकल लक्षण जूत सोई जाके पद सरोज रती होई ये जाके पद सरोज रती होई प्रेम भगती जल बिनु रघुराई समझ में आ रहा है कुछ दीवाबत्ती हो रहा है जाडू है श्री कृष्ण
तो कृष्ण संकीर्तनम इज द स्वीपर एंड वाटर इज द क्लॉथ दैट इज एंड द वाटर इज प्रेम ऑफ भगवती जल सो टू क्लेंस द हार्ट जाडू तो संकीर्तन और कॉन्शियसनेस स्वीपर पानी क्या है और इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज प्रेम संकीर्तनम बट द वाटर इज लव प्रेम भक्ति रूपी जल बिनु रघुराय रघुराय राम और कृष्ण का जो प्रेम द लव फॉर राम और कृष्ण इज द वॉटर के बिना अभी एंड विदाउट दैट में जो मल है पहली लाइन में देखो इन आवर हार्ट कब और कॉन्शियसनेस विल नॉट बी इरेडिकेटेड और रिमूव जल के बिना अंदर का मल साफ नहीं होगा Until and unless our heart, we have the love towards Lord, our heart won't be cleansed. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says that first you need to sweep the consciousness in heart, and after that you need to clean it with the cloth. Of prema bhakti or unalloyed devotional service towards the Lord, and Swami Tulsi Das Ji adds further. He says a person who is a scholar or wise who, with this water of devotional service, cleanses his heart. and purifies his consciousness so in this manner jadu sankirtan hai to pooja instrument of sweeping is kirtan prem hai and water is the loving devotion service towards the lord so we need to merge them both sankirtan karta hai so if someone performs congregational chanting with love then the heart will get purified instantly krishna sankirtan So we not separate these two. है ना जबरदस्ती ऐसा प्रेम से यदि कृष्ण संकीर्तन do congregation chanting by force, but if we do it lovingly, then immediately our heart will be cleansed or purified. एक लोचा है बलदेव भाई ये भाई एक लोचा है लोचा खाए कभी अभी हम भारत में जा कर आए सूरत में बहुत खाए आइए एक लोचा में आपको दिखाता हूँ क्या है देयर इज वन लूप होल सो लेट मी शेयर बहुत सुंदर अपने अपने तरीके से इसकी व्याख्या इस तरह अचार्य हैव इंटरप्रेटेड इट ब्यूटीफुली इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वेज चित्त रूपी दर्पण को साफ करने का उपाय क्या है व्हाट इज द सॉल्यूशन टू प्योरीफाई आवर कॉन्शियसनेस व्हाट चैतन्य महाप्रभु हैज सेड श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तनम ओके इसको पकड़ के रखिए हमारे चित रूपी दर्पण को साफ करने का तरीका क्या है रिमेंबर दिस सो कृष्ण संकीर्तन टू क्लीन द हार्ट द सॉल्यूशन इज गोस्वामी तुलसीदास टू परफॉर्म द कांग्रेगेशन चैंटिंग एंड गोस्वामी तुलसीदास ही वाज आस्क करने का उपाय क्या है व्हाट इज द सॉल्यूशन टू क्लेंज आवर हार्ट बट ही सेड समथिंग एल्स ये गोस्वामी तुलसीदास जी का आंसर है And this is his answer. Ujjaraj, nijmana mukura sudhari. Aye, Shri Guru Charan Saro Ujjaraj, nijmana mukura. सुधारी बर नऊ रघुवर बिमल जसु हे बर नऊ रघुवर बिमल जसु जो दायक फल चारी जो दायक फल चारी तो यहाँ पर गोस्वामी तुलसीदास जी अब पहले गोस्वामी तुलसीदास जी तो फर्स्ट यू नीड टू सेव दैट रिमेम्बर दैट 
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says that this consciousness of the mirror of consciousness can be cleansed by congregation chanting. But here Tulsidas Ji is referring to something else. So first he says, Nijman, my heart, and how is it? You might have heard it thousands of times where Mukur implies mirror. So, similar to this Cheto Darpan Marjanam, so this Mukur means mirror. So, my heart, like mirror, and I want to purify it. So if I want to purify my consciousness, then how is going to Shri Guru Charan Saroj Raj by the lotus dust of our spiritual master, by that my heart will be cleansed. So on the top, Chitane Mahaprabhu says, Sri Krishna Sankirtanam, but Goswami Tulsi Das is saying, to cleanse the heart only by the lotus dust, dust of the lotus feet of the Lord, or spiritual master. So how are we going to understand this contradiction? So let's attach them both. So Mahaprabhu has said, that the heart will be purified by congregational chanting. And Tulsi Das Ji says that the heart will be purified by the dust of the lotus feet of the spiritual master. So it implies to take shelter of the Lord. So physically, if we do that, that is okay. But here, this implies to take the shelter of a bona fide spiritual master. And if you see in the fundamentally that if you take a shelter of a great spiritual master, he, will he attach himself with you himself? No, he will attach us to the congregational chanting of the holy names of the Lord. If you go to an appropriate bona fide spiritual master, will he tell you to remember a chant on us? So, has the spiritual master told, he has told to chant the holy names of the Lord. So, what he says, he directs us to or attaches us to the congregation chanting of the holy names. So, the fruit or benefit of taking the shelter of the Lord is, of the spiritual master is, to get attachment to the holy names of the Lord. So, what more we need to understand? As Mahaprabhu has said, to cleanse the heart, we need to perform congregation chanting. And if we add Goswami Tulsi Das Ji, then we should do this congregational chanting under the shelter and instruction, guidance of our spiritual master. So we need to chant the holy names, but that should be under the shelter of a spiritual master. Then only it will become more potent. And there is still more. So Goswamiji says to take the shelter of a spiritual master. And if we ask Vedvya Muni, what are his thoughts on the same, that how our heart will be purified. And so he writes in Chandogya Upanishad, he writes this word. What does he say? Sattva Shuddhi. So Vedavyas Muni was asked how we can cleanse our heart and Vedavyas Muni says Ahar Shuddh that means if you keep your food pure 
then your heart will be purified. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying that heart will be purified by congregational chanting. Tulsi Ji is saying by taking the shelter of the spiritual master. And here Vedvyas Ji is saying to have pure food. So, if we attach all these three, so first we need to chant the holy names of the Lord. Along with that, we should take the shelter of the Lord and do it. And third, we sh under the shelter of the Lord and we'll do the con congregation chanting, but we should also keep our food free or pure. Till the point we do that, we won't be fully surrendered to the congregation chanting. We will not get that bliss in Sankirtan. So we need to have pure food. And what does it imply? No intoxication. No meat eating. No meat eating. So, so when we got initiated, we got four regulated principles and we got took the shelter of the law of spiritual master. So that is the diksha or initiation. And by that, if we do congregational chanting, our heart will be purified. So, Guru Nanak, Guru Nanak Dev Ji had traveled so far. He went or reached Makkha Madina. And he was there in a village. There was a poor man. And he had a bread of bajra Guru Nanak ji, uh, and ki roti some buttermilk. So, when he was about to eat it, then a great wealthy person of the village, he bought some great food for Guru Nanak Dev Ji and he offered it to him. So, Nanak Ji took that buttermilk and the soft bread bought by the poor man, but he didn't even touch what the wealthier person has offered. So he, the wealthy person got mistress and angry. He said that, I have heard that the sages don't differentiate. They see everybody with equanimity. You took the bread bought by a poor person, but you didn't accept it. My offering, then Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, I didn't accept it, your food, and there is a reason behind it. He said, just go and bring a mirror. So we are still there on this mirror. So he presented this practically. He said that you go and bring a mirror. He said, now, on this mirror, you bought this food, you keep it on the mirror. So he just rubbed it on the mirror. And he said, now you see your face. Can you see that? He said, I am not able to see. So he said, now, now that the soft bread that is remaining, just rub it because this was dry. So he just rubbed it and it absorbed all the ghee and the mirror became clean. And he said, now you can see your face. He said, that now I can see my face. He said that that is what I'm trying to make you understand that by sense gratification, this heart becomes conditioned and by Congregational chanting, the heart gets purified and we will be able to see our eternal form and the form of the Lord and his pastime and abode. So in this manner, Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, so let's come to the conclusion. After listening so much, you might have taken this for that we need to chant the holy names of the Lord. And there is no doubt about it that we will do it. But how much? There might be a question regarding that as well. 
So until what point are we going to do that? So listen carefully. When we start the congregation chanting, initially we will not like it. It feels like bitter medicine, and but we have to take it. So initially we will not like it. In the second stages, when we gradually keep on chanting, then we will get attached to it. It will become likable. And after that, we will try to relish the holy names of the Lord. That is the third stage. And the fourth is when we are able to relish, then after that, we will be able to get some ecstasy while chanting and the fifth is our heart will get overwhelmed with emotion and we will feel we are crying but we are able to control our tears and the sixth is while doing the congregation chanting even if we try hard we won't be able to control our tears and our eyes will be filled with tears and that overwhelming tears it will clean or it will start cleaning the heart or our consciousness so when we reach that stage that when after after our full trial, we are not able to control our tears. At that point or stage, our heart will start cleansing. And after that, if we do it constantly, and it will be completely purified, at that stage, the Lord is everywhere. And He is very near to our heart. And at that time, in this pure heart, we will be able to see the Lord. Wherever we see, we will see the Lord. Today, we see only the shortcomings of others. But once our heart is purified, then we will see Krishna everywhere because He is omnipresent. And therefore, it is said, जिधर देखा उधर पाई जिधर देखा उधर पाई जलक घनश्याम प्यारे की जिधर देखा उधर पाई जलक घनश्याम जो कुछ जो कुछ है रोशनी जग में जो कुछ है रोशनी जग में उसी दिल पर हमारे की जिधर देखा उधर पाई चतुरा कहीं मोड़ा ये लीला उस दुलारे की कहीं चतुरा कहीं मोड़ा ये लीला उस दुलारे की जिधर देखा उधर पाई जलक घनश्याम प्यारे की ज 
इधर देखा जहाँ देखो वहाँ कार श्री कृष्ण थ्रू द मीडियम ऑफ कॉन्ग्रिगेशनल चैन सिंग व्हेन आवर हार्ट गेट्स प्यूरिफाइड देन वेयर एवर वी सी वी सी द लॉर्ड क्योंकि शाम हर जगह है शाम एज ही इज देयर एवरीवेयर एंड इफ आवर हार्ट इज प्योर देन ओनली शाम विल रिफ्लेक्ट and to bring him in our heart there is only one thing that we should do that is congregational chanting of the holy names so once sage has said beautifully he said that all these instruments are to forget all other things otherwise lord is there everywhere but through this medium the world will get away from us and the lord and the living entity comes face to face so the congregational chanting purifies our heart and makes us experience the lord we all should take the shelter of the holy names of the lord and experience the lord isi aasha our life great and with this hope i will conclude the second day of today's session so i have taken 30 minutes more so we will skip the question answer session i'm sure they avoid the question because this topic is complex but whatever questions you have just keep them tomorrow is sunday so tomorrow we will take those questions so today we will conclude after little information we will do god aarti and then proceed let's conclude the session with jj car 